Bonjour friends and welcome to a new vlog. Today I am taking you back to Versailles to discover Le Petit Trianon. I took a completely different road to get to Le Trianon and it was such a great idea because it felt as if I set foot in the countryside. I would recommend walking that way only if you are able to walk long distances. However, you can still rent a car at the palace or use the same path by bicycle. Once you get to the end of the road, you have a direct access to Le Petit Trianon or the Grand Trianon if you walk a tiny bit more. It's rather quiet during opening times because most of the visitors are either at the gardens or at the palace. Before taking you in Le Petit Trianon, let me take you quickly to Le Grand Trianon and tell you a little bit about this place away from the palace. As I said in my previous video, this area used to be a village but was replaced by a palace by Louis XIV so he could spend time with his mistress, Madame de Maintenon. Much later, it was used by Napoleon. In fact, because of the French Revolution, all the original furniture was either stolen, either destroyed, so what you see now is the fashion from Le Premier Empire, the period during which Napoleon reigned. And of course, everything is absolutely exquisite here. To get from the Grand Trianon to the small one or the other way round, you have to cross a large garden that I find much more interesting and beautiful than the one from Le Château. This Jardin à la Française is mostly accessible by foot and although it can get tiring to walk around if you are not used to walk a lot, it is definitely worth it. There are so many beautiful things to see and plenty of hidden gems. Let's get inside Le Petit Trianon. Le Petit Trianon used to belong to Madame du Barry, Louis XV's mistress, and then was gifted to Marie Antoinette by Louis XVI. It became her sanctuary as she created her own court there. Indeed, only she could tell who would come and who would stay at Le Château. The ground floor is where the guards and servants would spend their time. You can still see the kitchen today. The upper floor belonged to the nobility. There, you can find the dining room, the salon de compagnie, which is a room where you can actually find an original object from back when Marie Antoinette was alive. The next room is Marie Antoinette's bedroom, which is absolutely darling. I love the patterns, which is a hint to nature and the atmosphere of Le Petit Trianon. On the other upper floors, which are restricted rooms, you will find the room of the first chambermaid, then the lady-in-waiting's room with the beautiful rose toile de jouy. I could not resist to have a peek out the windows and wow! Although the king had a room, which you can see here, and an office, he has never spent a single night at Le Petit Trianon. This beautiful room is Madame Elisabeth Swan, the king's sister and friend to Marie Antoinette. And finally, this is the king's and queen's daughter's room, Madame Royale. And before we part, let me take you to l'Opéra Royal, 
where Marie Antoinette loved to perform, although it's crazy to think of it. The Opéra Royal only opens on rare occasion. After my visit, it started raining and I had not the courage to walk 20 minutes up to Le Château de Versailles and then to take my train. Thankfully, you can actually buy tickets to take a train around the estate. It's also quite cheap, it's less than 10 euros for a return. Et voilà friends, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. A bientôt!